Well, this is gonna be uploaded one day later than I promised, or, well, rather, announced. But there's gonna be... Uh, I'm gonna be talking to some degree, because I had a decision to make whether to record yesterday with no talking, or record today with some, because... After a lot of pills and a lot of tea, my voice got slightly better, and from yesterday to today, it got a bit more better, if you see where I'm headed. So, there's gonna be some talking, not a lot of it though, because in theory I shouldn't talk at all and I should still record without any talking, because if I talk, the voice might get worse again so it will be safer to not but hey i'll i'll talk only until i feel like my voice is starting to hurt again so that means that i won't be voicing any any dialogues or whatever i'll just have something to say about the gameplay here and there okay so i'll read the uh the uh loading screen of this mission and then I'll just comment onto the gameplay, I won't voice the cinematics. While the High Priest is concentrating most of his forces at the defense of the Citadel of the Cold Flame, Illidan has to find a very special dragon. Such is the description of Chapter 8, Two of a Kind. Hmm. When I was uh, playtesting the beginning of this mission, I skipped the cinematic after the first three sentences, and as it turns out, there's actually a purpose to these cave entrances. Whoa. Mana burn? Let's do that before they mana burn me, if they have mana burn, which they, as it so seems, do not have. Okay, so I have a Shadow Hunter with Codex of Chameleon, Warsong Battle Drums, that's pretty nice, Scroll of Resurrection, and the Mana Stone. I grow impatient. I'll probably level up the heal, either the heal or hex. In theory, Ward is the most valuable thing, it adds good damage, is magic immune, and you know, it's ranged. But I'm gonna go with Healing Wave. Alright, so it seems that any any of these Spellhounds that I'll encounter won't have Mana Burn, which is perfect, because there's so much damage that they could deal, and so much mana they could take away. Of course, that doesn't mean that a stronger version of this Spellhound, or I mean Spellstalker, won't appear which actually will have access to mana burn with like which has like increased the uh, amount of mana burn so that could be potentially disastrous especially if they mana burn the shadow hunter oh come on 
get back in. It's good that you can click outside and they'll go over there. That, that's really nice. These areas are connected. It's not like you click here and the units would go over here and get stuck. It's really nice. Well thought through. Hardly a challenge. Is that all? Easily. Hmm. You know, I'm the kind of guy who would still want to have a look at uh, their stats, just to know what I'm up against, in case that I'll have to fight them at some point. Alright, so these are the regular Magnetor, which, after level 6, they get uh, Magic Immunity and Chaos Attack. I think it's after level 6. Alright then. Is that all? I think that the tunnel to the left is the one that I'm supposed to go into. You know, like this one. Is that all? Fine, I'll go in. Although. Evil draws close. Oh, now they get stuck. Hardly hmm. a challenge. Weird. Although, you know, I'm gonna be missing out on whatever is left of here. Left of the starting area, Easy. but whatever. Fine. Oh, shite. This is not a good time to save. Hardly a challenge. I'm uh, I don't think death. this is a... Is that all? I mean, I could blink through with Illidan, but... Hardly a challenge. Yep. Is that all? Easily. We are okay, so I'll go back and I'll have a look what have I missed left of the starting area. And I'll also have a look... I mean, if I find some trolls, they might join, if if the Shadow Hunter persuades them. Right. So with them, I think I could uh, I could maybe dispose of the Magnetor much faster. Oh, hello. Oh, free experience. Because, you know, a unit that deals 18 to 21, in reality deals only 6 damage to a demon hunter with 12 armor, it seems. Uh, shite. Let's drag them in so only one of them at a time can attack. Yeah? Looks, looks good, doesn't it? Well, this is gonna hurt. Maybe I could let them just stay. Seems like uh, the time is really slowed down. Oh wait, I need to hex that and I need to kill the shaman first. Hmm. Shame he doesn't have level 6 ability. As in that he, that he doesn't have an ultimate, which the Shadow Hunter does, cause it's a regular Shadow Hunter. Right, so. Yeah, I wanna kill the Shaman. Whoa, that hurt. And I'll just go back and I'll wait until uh, the Ancient... Yeah, until the Ancient just goes back and goes to sleep, cause I'm not in condition to fight him. Maybe I should have just ran past all of them, considering it's night time, and they were set up in a way that they weren't blocking me from advancing, so... I guess I should have gone past them. Yeah. Oh, but hey, here's just three. I'll deal with them, cause, you know, that'll get the uh, Shadow Priest another level, which will allow me to level up the Healing Wave, which will allow me to be more mana effective, you know, so. And I'm also getting some experience and gold for the Demon Hunter, yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright. 
I don't think there's gonna be anything in the igloos. I'm gonna check this one and... Oh, never mind, okay. I'll check all of them then. It's a pretty nice find. Because even if, from now on, I encounter something with mana burn... If I'll need to, and it seems like coin will have a purpose... If I encounter anything with mana burn, and I'll need an emergency heal... I can always guarantee it with the scroll of mana, because the healing wave still costs only 90. Alright, let's deal with you. If coin have a purpose, then I have no purpose for leaving you alive, do I? Even if killing you will be a harsh task. I know he has uh, reincarnation, but... Hey, when he's alone, he doesn't do that much damage, and if I can mana burn him away... Let's move the Shadow Hunter so he doesn't get stomped. Or bashed. He doesn't have stomp. I thought he would have. Weird. But okay. Hmm. Well, that was a crap reward, but... 97 coins, or how many I got for that, was worth it. I got very little experience for killing him, but as I said... I've done it for the coin, not for the experience. Hardly a challenge. Evil and it seems like the Shadow Hunter is limited to level 5, so I'm not supposed to get uh, the voodoo at the moment. Oh hey, dragons, eh? Mm. You know what's the problem? These are gonna take way, way too much time to kill. They're not difficult to kill, it's just that... Is that all? They'll be annoying to kill. What I'll have to do is probably just draw fire from the Demon Hunter to the Shadow Hunter. Cause the attack slows by a lot, it seems. So that the Demon Hunter can attack, but attack at unhindered speed. Even though he still attacks pretty slowly against there. Hmm. I mean, the attack speed should be sent against air and ground, but to me it always feels like Demon Hunters attacking air with orb effects. Or, I mean, because of orb effects, attack much slower. Yeah, don't forget, these are the marksmen. Why do they... why are they not using the frost arrows? They have mana, but they're not using it. That other yeti? I mean, yeti. The ancient whatever it was called, over here. You dare it wasn't a Sasquatch, I think it was like Ancient D. It wasn't a Yeti, was it? Whatever, the Ancient whatever level 9 Evil wasn't using spells either. The only enemy that used Hard spells was, was the Oracle level 7. So... Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, I get it. It's like in the melee again. If you kill anything that's... Uh, that's neutral, once your hero, le hero reaches level 5, you're not gonna get any experience for it, so you have to keep killing player-owned units. So, my, so both my Demon Hunter and Shadow Hunter are not restricted to... I mean... With Demon Hunter I knew, with Shadow Hunter I didn't because his experience was exactly at the start. So I can get Big Bad Voodoo, and I can get level 9, and it seems like I'm gonna get uh, a lot of experience for just killing skeletons, which is always nice. Oh my god, really? I can also hex the fly. Oh yeah, never mind. That's uh, that's a level ten. Cannot be hexed or anything because it's magic immune. That sucks a little. Let's see if I can deal with him then. You know, like the upside is I'm getting experience, which you know is nice. The downside is I'm not getting gold, which seems like it's gonna have a purpose. So that's not that nice. But oh well. 
The fact that I have healing wave level 3, which is not great single target PO, but it's okay, is making this a lot easier. You know, like, if I had Holy Light, I wouldn't have to worry about mana on my Shadow Hunter at all, but it's a Shadow Hunter and those have only healing waves. If they're the regular Shadow Hunters, if they're not modded or edited. Here, I'll move the... there we go. Ooh, an Orb of Darkness. Well, I'm blind, not deaf. Hardly a challenge. I grow impatient. Is that all? Ah, uh, it's still the frost. Speak to me. Okay, now, now the uh, darkness should be active. We'll see in a minute if I'm right or not. I mean, the easiest way to test if I'm right or not is finding an air unit and attacking it. Because the active orb will have a will have will add its uh, effects. Yeah. Okay. So now it's the orb of darkness, and if I switch them, it's gonna be the codex of frost. Wait. Yep. Yep. I'm not sure how to get a bunch of skeletons then slow down the enemy, because demon hunter doesn't take that much attack. Uh, that much damage from regular attacks, only from abilities, right? So, hardly a challenge. Gonna kill a few more bones, and see. It seems like he's gonna reach level ten. I wonder if he's supposed to reach level ten before I reach that base. If I'm, if he's gonna get like new abilities, cause remember, he's learning them. He's learning new abilities, as he said uh, in the previous mission. Although his abilities suck a bit, they're they're good for a right clicker. You know, he has like evasion, mana burn, and whatever else. Is that all? Easily. Hmm. Oh God. Hmm. At least it's not too many dragons, cause that wouldn't be fun to kill. Yeah, I'm sort of running low on mana, but I'm making progress, getting experience for it. Feels good, man. Soon gonna have level 7 on Zolkis, that means more mana. I mean, I know he's agility based, but still, you know. Regen is always nice. Even if you're undead. Right? <clears throat> yeah, my voice might not be the loudest of things in this video. But I don't think I wanna amplify it after recording. I guess I'll see. I don't know where am I supposed to look for these tribes. Like, here are... Uh, them, I forgot the name already. Oh, oh, crab. Magnetor. Here are Magnetor. Here are Magnetor. Here are Magnetor. Around here is nowhere else to go. I've basically explored the area fully, and now I'm now I guess I'm uh, making a lap around. Hey, attack this one, you fool. And now, now I guess I'm making a lap back towards this base. And Deathwing is gonna be somewhere around it. I don't know why, but that's my guess. Well, where do I go look for help though? Do I like go back and kill those, uh... I forgot again, what are they named? Kill those... Can't remember, damn it. Oh well. Magnetor! I, I seem to have a problem with memory as of recently. But it's... It's usually not this bad that I can't remember the name of a unit which I heard a few minutes ago. 
Alright, so I suppose I need to go here, kill the Magnetor and proceed past him. Because I really have no other direction to go. Aside from going towards a certain death, it seems, by the words of the Shadow Hunter. Where the f Oh, you're... Oh, it's a spiral, I didn't know, I... Well, I didn't know, I... I forgot, it seems. It's so... Only options I have are going towards a certain death, going towards an almost certain death, and then going towards a very tough fight, which is probably not a certain death. And then just wandering around the map aimlessly. Those are my three options. I think I'm gonna take an option number three or two. I, I don't even know what, which one did I say it as. Basically the option of going here and trying to kill the Magnetor. I mean I have Hardly a challenge. I have healing wave level three, I have evasion level three. Is that all? So I would rate my chances of surviving a fight with the mag with multiple Magnetor pretty highly. Is that all? Maybe instead of leveling up Hex, I should have leveled up the Serpent Ward, cause the damage done doubles. Well, sort of. And then uh, quadruples, as opposed to Serpent Ward level 1, so... There would have been a better game than just, uh, you know, going for extra 15 seconds on Hex, which on characters with uh, hardened skin, or is it resilient skin? Not sure. On Oh, resistance skin. On characters with resistance skin, it lasts only like plus two seconds. So, hey, get back. No. I need level 10 on him. I, re I don't really, but, you know, I, I, seeing how close I am to reaching the actual level 10, it's some extra stats, which makes him a better right clicker. So... Uh, I would be grateful Dare if I, to me. if I. Evil draws close. If I'll find Is a bunch of fools owned by some enemy Easily. who wouldn't mind dying to Is me. All? all right, these one are yep. All right, so it seems like yeah, from level six up, the Magnetor are magic immune and have chaos attack. Although this one is doing next to nothing, but is owned by a player. That means level 10 for Illidan. There we go. What do I level up? Probably the Mana Burn, even though it won't have any use against the Magnetor. Because, you know... Uh, I, if I'm gonna use Bling, it's usually gonna be just defensively or because of a puzzle. I might need to solve, and not offensively, because Illidan doesn't have enough direct damage to kill someone to whom I would blink him, so that's that. And the uh, problem is, if Zolkis had some sort of uh, mobility ability, like Sprint or teleport or stealth, even. I would probably level up Bling because then I could get both of my heroes past the enemy units without having to fight them. But as it so happens, Zulk is, has is just like a support and has no mobility, as in no mobility abilities for himself. So I'll have to uh, fight through the enemies most of the time. Unless I want to try and run around them while taking ridiculous amounts of damage and hey, what are you doing here? What have I just walked into? Does anyone know? I mean, there is one way I can do this. You know which which way that is? This way. Because this way I block the archers. I don't block the melee guy. But blocking the archers is good enough, I'd say. I maybe should focus the Ice Revenant first, but fuck that. 
I have a feeling this is some sort of side quest that I'm supposed to do. And not just like a side area. I guess we'll see once I encounter a bunch of trolls. Is that all? You oh, what's that? Me. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, about, about like a side area. I think this might be just a side area. You're considering the uh, fountain of hell that I just found. I think I'm going to leave the scroll speed by it. I'm just gonna grab this coin, excellent. Alright, so I think that what's the case is one one of the tribes, if there are multiple, at least one. At least one will, will require gold. And it'll be upon me to find out places where to get it. Alright, so... This doesn't go anywhere else, so we're going back up. And uh, two directions to go are open still. So let's check this one and I'll save. Cause that ended up well enough. Voodoo is half after cooldown. I mean, it's half ready. There. These are actually pretty easy to kill. It just looks like they have a lot of health, but in reality they don't, so... Excellent. Let's move onwards. Easily. More and more burning legion units. And Zorkis is not getting any experience, it seems. There's the upgraded version of the Fellstalker. But it... I always thought that the Ravager just has like a siege attack. And not, not chaos as well. Hmm. Wait. Why is it draining mana per attack? What the heck? I'm blind. None of my units or heroes have feed... It's possible that the Codex of Chameleon has feedback because the Ravager was losing 4 mana per every few seconds. I mean every few seconds, like once per 2 seconds. And that would probably correspond with, with the attack speed of the Shadow Hunter. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, if I if I wasn't XP capped on the Shadow Hunter, I maybe would consider just going in Rambo and trying to kill them all, cause I probably could do it. Trolls are not that strong when you put a target with high armor against them, cause they don't have any spell damage, so you know, no mats. Hmm. Oh, I got mammoths.
Holy shit. And you're trying to tell me that... Are you telling me that just these... 8 trolls are gonna be enough to siege a fortress? Defeat a group that's defending a harbor and deal with Magnetor that have 2,100 health each, probably. What the heck? They're not even that good, but I guess... I guess if this can be used on magic immune units, which it probably can... Wait, it says steal some lumber. I don't have to attack them. I can just jump around with blink, yes? Yeah, I can. Although I guess if I... I might try to blink on the other side of the rock gate. Because it seems like I still have some vision over there. But if it will say, like, I need to explore there first. Wait. Yeah, then I'll have to bring all units. Damn it. Those mammoths are pretty nice tanks, but... Their armor is inferior when compared to Illidan's. Like, 1 compared to 13 and heavy compared to hero. So... I'll just grab the damagers. I won't take the healers, no. Wait. Can it? It can. That means... I'll probably just uh, net the destroyer. And leave the other two unnetted. Because I think that I can outheal their damage with Zolkis and also outdamage them. Maybe not out heal as in, as in uh, during the fight, but what I mean is that Illidan won't die if he if I'll just keep healing him with Zolkis during the fight, right? Because he won't be receiving 54 to 61. He'll be receiving let's say 30 to 40 per hit from these reavers. The destroyer, on the other hand, is a much, much more dangerous target. Which is why I'm glad that I have ensnared for him, as I've explained. That means I'll go ahead and save. And let's see. Yeah, but like, once I get inside, I'll leave all the units behind. And I'll just jump around with Blink. No, 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 no. Just one of you. I grow impatient. I'm blind, not deaf. And let's focus them down one by one. I grow impatient. Stay cool. I'm blind, not deaf. Come on. I grow impatient. No, you're not going anywhere. Feels good, man. Now, off to dealing with the gate. And, uh... Maybe shoulda... You know... Leveled up... Uh, the evasion. Uh, the evasion, the blink. Cause... It now has 10 seconds cooldown still, instead of 1 second cooldown. Oh well. Whatever. With this technique, I should be able to kill them all before they manage to deal any damage to Illidan. I can use him as a bait. So... But depends on the strength of the Magnetor. Like, these are pretty weak. They should fall within a matter of seconds. Like, if I focus one down, it should fall down very quickly. Yeah, there. So... This is a bit stronger one, but again, only two armor. And I got a lot of piercing damage, so... Yeah, I did see you up there. Don't you think I didn't? 
I don't feel the need to ensnare the enemy when it's not the 2100 health variety. I mean, type. 2100 health type of Magnetor. Was it a Reaver or. Oh, hey, a Mammoth. Which actually uses his abilities. You know, War Stomp. Nice. 83 gold. Really good. Really good amount of coins for that easy kill. Alright, considering that I got units, maybe that fight against uh, the Ranger would have been simpler or well easier as well. Oh, hey! A not non hostile mammoth. I mean, a not a non hostile mammoth, that's a rare sight. And also a welcome one. Because they wouldn't be a challenge, it's just that they. They would just be another complication in the area, and the less complications I run into, the better. <clears throat> Alright, where do I... I guess I'll have to go down here, this way. If I look at it like this, a bit more... If I turn the camera more towards left, a bit more, and lower it like this, I think this is the area with... with uh, with the piles of wood that I'm supposed to pick up. And this looks like that's gonna be the case because there's nothing up here. Alright then. I grow impatient. Hardly a challenge. But as said, I could just try to jump through all of that. Yep, this is the area. Destroyer, that's what it's called. Where home? Destroyer is its name. Oh, he's gonna return back because I don't have ensnare. Oh, he's not? Well, thank you. Thank you for letting me lure you away and killing you with anyone else's... Well, I mean, with any of your friend's help. Or without, actually. Whatever. That's a lot of Magnetor. I'll have to focus them down. Mm -hmm. I could also... You know, if I'll be fighting a large force of melee units, I can put all these ranged uh, into a line, but I'll have to be quick because they don't have that much health, so they could die if I'll take too long to do it. I can put them into a line and then trigger the big bad voodoo, which means that they'll be basically in an invulnerable wall which can attack if I set it to hold position. So that's a plan. It's just that its execution will be what will matter the most. Oh, did you really have to do that? Holy crap, that splash damage. That was a lot. Down you go, come on. And poop. Alright, where are the trees? Where are they? Come on. Another dire mammoth. I think that maybe those calves, or well just mammoths, not mammoth calves, weren't supposed to be passive. Maybe they were, but... Seeing how many of them are, they are here, I don't think they are supposed to be passive, but who knows? I don't, that's why I'm guessing. Because I didn't create this. Holy crap, and why did this one join me? I mean... Sure, and you can actually eat trees, very nice. <laughs> I guess it has something to do with trolls and... Uh, I mean, ice trolls and the mammoth relations, that they're able to tame them, yeah? Nevertheless, it's a very nice find. Like, very nice. I can just eat my way through trees now. Well, actually, m more like eat, just rampage, destroying the forest, but... Hey, if the mammoth gains back some health while doing it, it's fine by me. If it's a vegetarian mammoth, huh, huh? I think mammoths are 
not vegetarian, but they eat only plants all the time. I don't think they're like car carnivores, but hey, I was, I was supposed to be a joke. Please don't judge me too hard. Or do, whatever. Not like it would matter too much. If you're a person on the internet, you gotta be thick-skinned, because you can't let everything get to you. If you do, you would... You would suffer a lot. If just a random person told you to... You know... The most common insult is kill yourself. You just gotta be thick-skinned if you wanna exist on the internet. So... Whatever. Oh, come on, move, move aside, seal. I don't want to get rid of you, not at the moment. Alright, there goes the wood. And I got a very good melee unit out of it. Is it magic immune? It's not, but as far as I'm aware... Uh, Banshees can possess only up to level 5, and so can... Uh, Dark Rangers, as in charm, you know, so... All the encampments, so there are multiple. My guess is there's one on this side of the river, which I've already found, and then one on the other side of the river, which will help against the dragons, right? Because there was, like, a lot of dragons. And I think that these units would be just enough to get rid of them. They have good attack. Pretty bad health, but really good at pretty good attack, and it's piercing, which is good against heavy, which most of the dragons have. Hmm. All right, so now I'm off to the fort, and this mammoth find might be actually just what I need. As in, I might be able to get rid of them, or get rid, deal with them. Now it's not so much about the imam of having low armor or or even not being mana, uh, magic immune. It's just about the unit having a lot of health and being able to tank damage instead of my... Oh god, I forgot. Instead of my uh, trolls. Wow, that was a good find, indeed. Very glad that I found the unit when I did. Alright, you all will have to... How can I actually reach that friggin' area? By going here and then here? God, will I really have to go back up? Are you serious? I mean, it looks like it, because down here is... Actually, here is uh, a passage I haven't visited yet. I can, I can have a look into it with the other mammoths. I don't think, there, I don't think there's going to be anything of, of value. Come on, just get over it. Alright, and then you'll go up here, and you'll go up here. Alright, anyone home? Yeah, it seems like there's nothing in there. Oh, I haven't been here though. And here. I completely forgot about this part of the map. So, let's save and actually have a look if the recording is recording, if it didn't lag out again. Yeah, it didn't. Nice. No, whoa. Burning Legion. Man. Those are pretty dangerous, and it's a pre-nerf Hall of the Dead, if that's... No, it's the pre-nerf Black Sider, though. You know, you know, the nerfed one has attack which does 11 to 12, and it freezes, or, well, it has the effect of freezing breath, or frost breath, whatever. Dare speak to me. Wait, why are you out over here? I ordered you to go out Washington's up there, alive. didn't I? Oh, I didn't. I ordered you to go out over here. Okay, never mind. My bad. You know, and the, the pre-nerf one has 49 to 60, which is exactly that case. 
There are some cages, but the way that it's looking right now, I think there might be just a few trolls. And those are not gonna survive for very long in the middle of all of this, considering there's also burning archers. And if they have the arrows turned on, which had, I think, 10 to 15 damage, I'm not sure. 31 to 39. It would take just 10 arrows to kill a trapper. You know, and from from a burning archer, and there's much worse things that can attack a unit than a burning archer. So, alright then, head up. I wonder why is there not an easier way to get up there? I mean, I'm blind, I guess I can uh, blink a little ahead and then teleport all all the other units to him. Easily. But is that all? Evil. It doesn't have that short cooldown, so it won't be too much of a uh, is that all? shortcut. I mean. I could, I in theory, link down, call in the rest of my I units with the Codex of Frost, I'm and try to wreck the garrison from inside, but by the looks of it, it's gonna be a lot better for me if I draw out the enemy troops and battle them outside of the garrison. Holy crap, this is not... An easy way to go. I'm so many turns. Meanwhile, ever you know what? It might Is be just all? best course of action to move Illid in the head, Is and that all? then have him teleport the units if they can be teleported. Meanwhile, the rest of these got stuck on each other. Great, well done. Yeah, it's probably gonna be better. You know, I couldn't do the blinks before, cause if I don't see uphill, I don't think I... Well, can I? Oh, I, I actually can, okay. So I could have done that earlier, my bad. Well, and that means I can blink over the wall, yes? Can I even blink up, or do I still need to see the... Oh, well, okay then. And the man of is not magic immune, so it's definitely gonna work. I mean, it's just like an effect of uh, scroll of teleportation, which works on magic immune units as well, doesn't it? Easily. So that means I'll actually save just in case that something happens, you know. Hardly a challenge. Oh, that was good. You and you, that was that was quick. Could have been a bit quicker if I realized. But uh, hey. It seems like a lot of the wildlife is neutral at the moment. Oh, it's just a level 3? But well, that's easy. It's not an issue. Not a problem. And they're not even using arrows. I mean, the frost ones. Super easy. Oh, but I might have to do this. Uh, they're soon gonna be out of the range of the voodoo. Yep, just like this. I'm blind, not Alright, get back. I don't need you to die. No. There we go. Panicked a bit. Oh my god, get back. What is this? It's not even doing that much damage, it's just something else is. Oh, it's the Juggernaut! Alright, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you with all my heart. Let's see if I can dispose of it before it does serious damage, which it already has. Uh, this will take half a year to fix. Eh. Could be worse. Oh, I actually could have used. Oh, I could have used the ice shard. Oh well. 
will be my what else is there left to kill? Only like a bunch of towers? And the necropolis? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, well, let's see if we can do it. I mean, the mammoth has 900 health left, so... It's just the dragon, which might be an issue. But I can ensnare him, and the mammoth should be able to attack him because of that. Yep. It's exactly as foretold. Let's deal with it then. Then with the... There you go. Then with the tower. Then with the necropolis. If if that didn't get slow on health, I'll just teleport him out. It's good that the... Uh, I mean necropolis. It's good that the garrison isn't targeting any of the trolls. Because they would receive a lot more damage than Illidan. It's doing me a favor, actually. Sort of. Alright, so... How much do I need? 150. Fine. Oh yeah, I can use the solves. Actually, free up a spot in my inventory. How many... How much space is there on the ship? How much will a mammoth take? Is what I want to know. Wait, are you shitting me? I thought it would take like four slots, but it could go on a ship. It, it's big enough, you know. It's certainly much bigger than the regular ships in Warcraft, onto which you can fit like eight siege machines, or I mean eight catapults. Where in reality, by the size of the boat, you could fit only like one, maybe two. Oh well, I guess. Fine, it's for the balance reasons. Although, you know, I can always teleport it back to myself, can I not? Now that I think of it. So, I have to go all the way over there and destroy the fort. How do I get to it? Is it like down here? Do I have to go through? Um... Judging by the way that the units are turned, probably not. There's probably going to be multiple entrances. You now let's have a look at. Let's have a look first. I still have more than enough wood to buy a few more ships. Actually, have wood for two more ships. What am I doing? I should load the rest as well. You know, I just wanted to check if there's anything that would insta-kill the ship, so that I would lose just Illidan, which... ...probably wouldn't matter, because I would have to reload anyway, if he would die on a... ...spot... ...on which there wouldn't be any ground... ...uh, any shallow ground, you know what I mean? Wait... ...are you telling me? Oh yeah, they can't go on the other side, okay. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna teleport them to me anyway. Who cares if they don't want to go? You know, they didn't go because of their own will. They were teleported. They were forced to be teleported, so... It's not like they would be breaking any... Any sacred rules. Wink, wink. I broke the rules for them, you know. Alright, there's nothing over here, then let's have a look to the left. It's probably nothing over here either. Or either. Whatever. There's a waterfall. Ooh, waterfalls. Nice. Looks okay. Nothing over here either. What the heck did I get the ship for if... Is it this way? It is. Oh wait, is this all shallow? No, it's not. How am I getting past this? I guess... I guess I can uh, disembark one of the heroes over here. Yeah, I can. There we go. Fight! Right, can I place the wards uh, up here? Yay!
If they didn't have the freezing breath, I would just uh, sail past them, but because they do, I don't think I would get... I mean, I would probably eventually escape them, but they would do a lot of damage. Because they have piercing and the ship has heavy. I'm blind, not deaf. Maybe the interaction is changed as opposed to regular Reign of Chaos, where units with heavy took more damage from piercing. But it feels like they sort of do still take more damage from piercing than from normal attacks. Units with heavy armor, you know, that they receive more from piercing. I think it's a good time to save. I feel like I've dealt nicely with that, uh, with that, uh, dragon blockade, blockade, not blockade, but blockade. Yeah. Wait, then where do I disembark now? Like over here? I can't. Oh. Shit. Well, then that's my question answered. I have to go all the way back down there and go through here and then up north to destroy that fort. It's not really that all that great. Hmm. Well, it's probably gonna be easy moving all these units back because I can blink once, blink... No, walk a bit, then blink twice. Blink thrice, four times, and I'll be over here, and then I can just walk down, which probably might take like around a minute or so. So that means uh, just you, the rest will group up around the mammoth because why not? There you go. Wait, wait a second. Can he blink down there? Hardly a challenge. Uh, shame because you know that's that's a cave as well. That's a cave entrance which might might be explorable later, and also might not. It depends on on the point of view. Easily. Hmm. Poof. Actually, have a lot of damage as well. I thought they would have only like eleven to thirteen, but they have seventeen to twenty-four. But still, the amount of health they have is just ridiculously low. A few shots from uh, Hall of the Dead or whatever it is, the final level of Necropolis, the final upgrade level of Necropolis, and they would be uh, pretty much dead. And I need units which can survive at least a death coil level 2, you know. If I encounter like a, let's say, uh, I encounter like a uh, death knight, which probably won't happen since because I'm against legion, but still, you know, one can never be careful enough when it comes to a custom campaign. Maybe I'm over exaggerating it, but I've played a bunch of campaigns in which everything was doing. Uh, going as I expected, and then wham, like a story and a combat twist, and a lot of things went down the toilet, and I decided to reload an earlier save, because I wasn't expecting that, and I got wrecked by it. Oh, wow. McFerridon himself, huh? Well, he's only level 10 with no items and no extra abilities, it seems, so he might as well turn into a crab, because... That's all he is. He's a big crab. <laughs> Not a demonic figurine. Wait, did I actually pick up the previous one? I don't think I have. Damn <laughs> So that means there's like a Doomguard figurine somewhere in the back. Oh, no. oh well. What can you do? And I didn't get to say it. Now, who needs strategy?
<laughs> it's true that It's true that it does freeze buildings, I completely forgot about that, and I do remember having it on my lizard hero earlier on, and it being able to freeze the buildings from afar. It was basically like a ground frost room, you know, but it's still. It seems like uh, the troll might have some interest in the Codex of Frost. I wonder if it will do something once I give him the item it and it will appear in his inventory. No. It won't combine with the Codex of Chameleon. Because the way that I see things is that you know what Chameleon is, right? A being which can shift its colors and merge with, with the background or, well, with its environment. I'm thinking maybe the Codex of Chameleon is, uh, in other words, this is a betrayer unit. Something that's only taken form of the Shadow Hunter, but it's not the Shadow Hunter, and it's trying to get its hands on the Codex of Frost, you know. So it that might be the case, but it also might not. But as I said, I there's not explained what is this for. I think it's a hint of something going on. It's just it's not a direct hint, so I can only make assumptions. That's all I can do at the moment. Oh look, another McFerridan. Another seal. Hey you, get back. Oh, unable to target heroes? Since when? Oh, okay. Oh, spiked collar, that's pretty weak. But I'll take it. I think I'll also summon uh, the Doom Guard. I think it's good enough. Oh hey, hey. I'm blind, not deaf. Dare speak to me. I'm blind, not deaf. And down you go. That looked okay. Alright, there's only one more unit. By the entrance. Down you go. Oh, damn. No, 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 no. Let's rather fight outside. Those units will follow me. You know? I just don't want to fight against the dragons inside. If I could lure out the big one, that would be a win, but... Oh, I should have... Hmm. Damn, I fucked up, I guess. There we go. If I go invulnerable over there, I think this is perfect. Well, it's not really perfect, but it could be worse. It could be worse. I think this is okay enough. Because I can get rid of some towers. They don't deal that much damage, but... Hey. Okay, now let's pull out. Deal with these units, which are foolish enough to follow me out. Then deal with the infernal machines and all the chaos attacks. Did I lose a troll? No way. No, I didn't. Okay. A low on mana, though. Uh, might be an issue. I think that what I want to do is... Fuck. Nope. Uh, okay, I don't have enough... I want to deal with that, if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna lose some units, that's for sure. 
Wait, do I have a... Hmm. No, I don't. Ah, the mammoth. It hurts. But oh well. I could have maybe used the, the Ice Revenant as well. But I want to keep that for later. Alright, and I'll soon have enough mana for a heal. You know what that means. Not gonna lose any trolls, not today, hopefully. Maybe. If I try hard enough. Mm, fucking shite. Almost had it. Almost didn't lose a single troll. It's not like it would matter, because they won't go with me over the river, but still. I just want to lose as little as I can. You know, it's... The fact that I almost had it, and then the last friggin' shot from this... bitch building decided to screw me over. It's not helping. Wishing I had some more mana on... On, uh, on the Shadow Hunter, like a pendant of energy would be really appreciated because the only problem I had once I got inside after using the voodoo was the mana. I could have eaten a mana stone to, to keep the mammoth alive, but I'm not valuing it that much. I am valuing it enough to resurrect it with a scroll of resurrection, but that's as far as I'm willing to go. You know, like. I'm not gonna use up a permanent... I mean, I'm not gonna use up an item that has a permanent ongoing effect as long as I don't use it. You know? I don't value the mammoth that much. Another scroll of speed. Oh my god. So useful. I mean, I don't have to deal with any of this, I just want to check the cage. Ooh, nice! Nice! Got a high priest out of this. Sweet deal. Alright, I think there maybe isn't anything any, any more to deal with. Besides those ziggurats, so... Let's get back. Will those be able to kill the whelps? Probably not, so that means I'll take you. You'll go over here. I mean, over here, then I'll blink and uh, go and then blink. Over here, actually, I can blink over there. It's, it's totally fine. I grow impatient. We're moving on. <sighs> it's getting late over here. Are there demons nearby? 25 minutes past midnight. Bring it on. Alright, you two can go back to the rest. Actually, how long was I recording for? 1 hour 8 minutes. Okay, I think I'll split it because... Doesn't look... I, I, I'm thinking like this part of the map, the upper half. Well, the upper third. It's more like one third. The upper third might take only like 10 to 15 minutes to finish. But I am quite tired and the one hour mark has been crossed. Well, sort of one hour. 50 minutes to 50 to 70 minutes mark, you know. That's what I consider about one hour of content. Which I asked if you want and you replied yes, so... You know, I'm gonna... Or at least some of you replied yes, so I'll, I'll end the recording of this part here, and the next one will be probably the end of this mission, you know, this part of the map, combined with the beginning of the next one. I'll see you in the next one then, in the next video.